welcome back everybody uh, still in lockdown so what's a photographer do when he's stuck inside he builds a camera all right let's turn you around and uh, show you what I made uh, everything was from around the house except the uh, pinhole lens I ordered that off of eBay for uh, tax and shipping came to like eight dollars uh, could have made one myself out of like a soda can but I wanted the hole to be uh, nice and smooth let's turn you around and show you the camera okay this is the back uh, this is what I came up with to hold the uh, back on uh, just some hair bands and some wood uh, I built it out of MDF uh, I had some laying around I put a little red window in there uh, both the shutter and the red window I have some uh, stick-on felt I made a quick release figuring uh, it's six by six so it's it's not gonna turn sideways don't really need a tripod mount I can just clip it right to my tripod. Uh, the top here, uh, just had some washers laying around. Soldered the uh, bolts to them. <clears throat> the front, uh, I made a shutter lock for when it's transporting. And there's the lens. So that just locks in there so it doesn't uh, swing open. Uh, let's open her up uh, on the back I put on the back I put felt uh, just to help with uh, light all right inside painted black uh, it's actually rust-oleum spray paint for preventing rust but it you know makes a nice flat finish uh, just soldered some washers uh, had some springs that were uh, let me light it up for you a little bit had some springs uh, not really sure what they are uh, the bottom post right there is it was a uh, like one of the shelf holders for in like a cabinet uh, these are springs spring loaded these are spring loaded so I can, I can just pull up and pull out the thing ah, that's about uh, it for the inside uh, First time building a pinhole camera. We'll see how it uh, it goes. Spin right there. Um, I had this originally. I designed this to put the lens right here, and then another piece on top of it to hold. You know, to make sure it stayed in place. Uh, I was afraid that it was going to. Uh, was going to be too deep in there and the wide angle was going to you know hit the sides so instead of a 25 millimeter let's see what we got here so it's going to be like 25 millimeter It is now 31 millimeters. Uh, not sure what that's going to do to the picture quality. Uh, actually, for 30, 31 millimeters, it's a two, uh, 0.2 lens. Uh, 31 millimeters kind of calls for uh, 0.2. 
two three. Uh, so the image square is just shy of six centimeters. So uh, my fault. But yeah, first one. I'll have a little bit of vignetting around the edges, I guess. Hopefully, uh, pictures will come out sharp though. All right, let's uh, load this bad boy up. Uh, we're gonna use uh, Ilford HP5. I just, I've had this roll for uh, since I bought my Yashka. Uh, so this is my last older roll. I still got all the new stuff. All right, let's uh, load her up and uh, go out and take pictures. All right, take a quick walk around the neighborhood early in the morning while the sun's low and shining on all this wet stuff. Uh, there's a set of leaves close by I want to catch. But just going to take a bunch of random photos. I have no idea what this camera is going to do. Alright, uh, I think we'll just take a picture of this stuff, get one in the bag. <laughs> picture let's see what else we can find uh, I was hoping the uh, fountains were going to be running but no such luck all right I'm just gonna try this little uh, knot in the tree Probably have to uh, crop it in. I'm sure the pinhole will catch more than just the tree. All right, be about a four second exposure. All right, just gonna shoot straight up. Uh, tree has interesting bark textures, so uh, see how it turns out. Just getting ready to leave the pond and the fountains came on. So I'll take a picture. Alright, next photo. No light on it, but it'll be a long exposure, somewhere around 10 seconds. flowers in the tree uh, before they're all gone. All right, about three frames left. Negatives, eh, so so, a little thin. I'm sure my exposure was off on probably just about all of them. Yeah, 
one second is kind of hard with a pinhole. Yeah, flop it open, flop it closed real quick. Uh, not an exact science, but should be able to get something printable. Uh, I tried scanning them in, but they were a little too close together and the scanner couldn't differentiate and started overlapping some of the uh, scans. So I may, <clears throat> well I'm going to make a contact sheet so I may cut them up into little squares and scan each individual so the ones that I don't print, good or bad, uh, after I have the clip in the video I can uh, <clears throat> you know, show them. But you have already seen that. All right, let me uh, get started. Uh, do a test strip and see what kind of contact sheet we get. All right, I'm gonna let you listen. Hear that? There's a uh, dove sitting on top of the chimney. I always find it funny. They sit up there and it just that goes right down into here. Okay, here's the test strip. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I went for the six because that's where the blacks where uh this blacks they were gonna get. So here's the contact sheet. Uh pretty sure that's frame number two. Uh advance past it. This is frame number 11. I have no idea what happened there. I might have advanced past that too. Uh, not sure what I like best. Uh, this one's pretty neat. Uh, this one I'd have to crop in quite a bit. Uh, I was literally, you know, I don't know, four inches above the uh, hosta and it's still got my tripod legs in there. Uh, all in all, I mean, uh, not bad for a homemade camera. I think I will, uh, don't know. I'll definitely print this one. Uh, uh, let me print this one. I'll start off at that and I'll think about the other. What other one I want to print. I don't know if I want to print this one. This one up here. Or the hosta. I may do the hosta. I uh, really don't like how that just turned out, just one leaf. Just kind of looks odd. Alright, I'm going to do these two. This one and this one. Decision made. Alright, let's get to it. Uh, Alright, here's the test strip. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. I'm gonna try a twelve and see what get you know, see what it gets us. Alright. Uh forgot the Durst had a glass carrier. Got some spots. So we'll clean them up and uh, make another print and I think I'm going to dodge this area down here just to lighten it up just a little bit to bring out a little more detail in the real dark areas. Alright, let's uh, make another one and see what we get. Alright, 
Here's the second print. Uh, you could start to see detail in there and through here compared to this one. It's a lot darker. Uh, looks like there's still one spot there. But it's not a masterpiece, so uh, the other ones are gone. I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to waste a ton of paper on something that's, you know, not portfolio. Alright, uh, let's switch negatives and uh, do the other one. Alright, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Six is almost there. Um, kind of like an eight. Blacks look good. Yeah, bunch of different tones between there and there. Highlights aren't, you know, they're bright, but you could still see a little bit of detail in there. So nine and yeah, ten's looking a little too dark. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with 8. Alright, let's try 8 and uh, see what we get. And see if we have to adjust anything. Here's the print. Uh, apparently I have a super stubborn piece of uh, something or other. I guess I'm going to have to uh, clean up that negative carrier real good before the next time I use it. Uh, one reason I hate glass carriers. Uh, there are six surfaces to clean. Uh, my uh, Beesler, I have a, uh, I was going to get a glass carrier to make sure the negative stayed flat and then I found uh, the nega flat it uh, grabs the negative and uh, stretches it flat so that it doesn't warp with the heat from the bulb and it works real well you only gotta worry about dust on the negative so okay I hope you enjoyed the, the camera uh, sorry I didn't film building it I figured uh, I had no idea what I was doing, whether what was going to turn out. So, I mean, it did happen what I thought was going to happen. In the, in the corners there, uh, the pinhole's a little too far away. It was kind of a fun shoot. You know, I've been looking at pinhole cameras. Uh, I believe it's pronounced undo. They seem to be really well made, and uh, I really like their design. I would probably get the, uh, they have one with three holes, so you can change the horizon. Uh, that would probably be something I would go for. I'd probably stick with the 6x6 six six unless I come across the, some cheap negative carriers for the bigger uh, and larger, and if not I'll go. You know, six seven or six twelve or six nine. Uh, twelve is a little too big. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please throw in some comments. I like to hear uh, your guys' thoughts. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.